Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Christy and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And today we are going to do another portion or part or whatever you want to call it of the unboxing of my 100 pounds that I got from the Goodwill almost about a week and a half ago. So I've already done part one, part two, partial, I think part three. So this might be the fourth part and then there'll be one more after this one. So I'm going to do two bags today of clothes and then the last part will be the last bag of clothes and then a bag of shoes. And you will be able to see on that video why I don't normally get shoes at my Goodwill outlet and why I try to go to my local thrift store because I only got one. Well, if it goes straight after work, I have two. If I'm at home and on the weekends, I have one. So. Without further ado, we're going to get into this because I don't have a whole lot of time today. Busy mama driving kids around to wrestling and gymnastics and all the things. And I'll still got to put in dinner in that time frame and do business stuff. So we're going to run through this. Oh, and in case you're new, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. And just so you know, I do my videos on the fly. I don't do any editing. I... Don't do any retakes. What you see is what you get. Um, I am too busy having a full-time job, a family, running my reseller business, and then trying to show you guys items that I am picking up to resell and the items that I am selling that are going out. So let's get to it, shall we? All right, now you're probably gonna see a bunch of my head because I don't really have anywhere in my storage unit to set something up so I can grab it. So I'm gonna be digging down and then showing you guys what I got. So this is, I think it's a, nope, it's an Adidas pair of running shoes, or not running shoes, what am I talking about? A pair of running shorts. But if any of you, I'm gonna show you this logo, uh, logo or this thing that's on here up front. I didn't look this up um, it's because I don't know what this is. So if any of you know what this is, if this is a collab of some kind or a character of some kind, but these are Adidas running shorts and they just had like this dude on here. So I don't, looks like he's sitting in a chair. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Never seen that before. So if you know, let me know. This is a Columbia, um, I think it's a men's, just size large flannel shirt button up um, I did get a lot of flannels this time because they seem to be selling um, this is a modern fit it says it's a size large um, it's Volcom but I don't know about you guys that doesn't look like a large to me unless this is a youth which it doesn't say youth on it but I'm gonna assume that that is a youth t-shirt at first I thought it was a woman's but no, hold on guys. <laughs> Bless me. Uh, let's see, this is a BKE. I don't know if you can see that really well with this light. Size small, just like little sweater. Might be a little cropped, but not like a lot cropped. Just a shorter woman's sweater top. Uh, let's see, this is another pair of Adidas, size large pants it does have this um if you know what team that is let me know um i do not i don't know if it's college i don't think it's pro because i know most of the pro teams but yeah and then these have like vents in the back and they've got zippers on the side um, this i don't know how Excuse me, I'll be back. Hopefully they fix that this month like they said they were going to. So in my storage unit, the lights are supposed to be timed for if there's no movement every 30 mo minutes they go out. But for some reason, this one right on the outside of my storage unit, after five minutes, it goes out. So they said they would be fixed in November. So we'll see. So I know their jeans do well. I don't have any idea about any of their other clothes, but this is just a woman's Ariat 
animal print t-shirt. Like I said, I did not look that one up because I do not know um, how they will do. These I did not look up either. I just know the shoes themselves are a very expensive brand of shoes. So these are some Allen Edmond shoe dust bags. And I did find the pair, so I got them both. And I have no idea what these will sell for, but the shoes go for hundreds retail. So I got those. Let's see. This is just a Maurice's 24 7 animal print size large t shirt. Um, yeah, they don't, Maurice's does not sell for very high money, but it does sell for me on a consist consistent basis. These, I don't know if these are underwear or if these are, just, they don't know what these are. So they're Under Armour, they're size large. I'm thinking that they're underwear now that I'm looking at them closer. But I don't know. I know they're for sports. They're much long. Most men don't wear underwear that are that, like down to your knees long, but don't know. These are some women's Grey's Anatomy size large tall scrub pants let's see are these the one pair yep these are a pair of lululemon running shorts i'm assuming they're running shorts I guess you can do whatever you want in them they're a size four Let's see, which is this? I do not remember what this is. This is a Lavagna. It's a new new brand I have never heard of. That is the label. It's a very nice laced or like crochet waterfall cardigan. And from what it comps, if I remember correctly, is about like a $20. $20 range for those. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out a way to do this. Now they get into the bottom of the bag. I'm having to dip down further. Okay, these are funky. Are these? I think these are Nike. Yeah. So I don't see really any inside tags. The only way I knew that it was Nike was by here. One side says Air. And the other side says Nike. You can't see that here, but just trust me. Um, it is missing the drawstring, but it is lined on the inside with like a mesh of some kind. But I don't see any inside tags, but it's like very thick. Like this is like very super thick sweatpant material. Same thing with this up here. It's very, very, it's way thicker than normal. So I didn't look that up either. Hopefully that's decent. Let's see. This is Novara. I didn't look this up either, but anything. So Novara, size medium. And I believe it's a woman's. It's just like the padded, it's got a padded booty for like bike shorts. So yeah, and it's got like some like little design in the band. Most of the time, padded bike shorts do decent. Since it is football time, this is a woman's, uh, what is it, size? size medium, Packers shirt. So if any of y'all are Packers fans out there, girls, here's a shirt for you. This is an American Eagle. Flex, it's American Eagle Outfitters Flex, uh, women's, I think it's women's, maybe men's, 3032, but they're very distressed in the front. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. I'm thinking it is. Are you kidding me? Now it's going out every, sooner than, well, I guess not. Right, we'll do it for a second like this and I'll get and do it again. And a pair of men's Columbia Omni Shade pants. These are not the tearaway kind. 
Yeah, I can't do it in the dark. All right, yeah, that is so annoying. I apologize for that, guys, but I don't know what else to do because I don't have anywhere else to do videos at the moment because my room at my house is also a hot mess. This is, oh, this is just a Tennessee whiskey, uh, oh, well, Tennessee whiskey trail, size medium, and it's like a Jack Daniels graphic tee. It's got that on the front, or on the back, that on the front. And then this is the last item in that first bag, which is a CJ Banks woman's nice fancy top. I think it's button. Yeah, button front. I figured I'd get it for like holiday, possibly, or whatever. Ugh. All right, let's see. What else we got? What have we got? got another fleece jacket. It's a Cabela's woman's size large fleece vest. It's purple. Oh, my nose starting to run. This is an REI size extra extra large. Just a plaid men's top. It's not button front. It's only like a quarter quarter button up. This I thought was cute. I can find. So it's just a Tommy Hilfiger waterfall front, open front cardigan. It's a very, very pretty blue color. I don't know if it, how well that comes across on the screen, but if it was my size, I'd keep it. Let's see. This is Guide's Choice, size 12, women's hiking shorts. I don't know if that brand in particular does very well or not, but most hiking stuff, hiking brands do fairly decent. Um, this is just a plain woman's piranha t-shirt. I think it's a size extra large. Yep, extra large black t-shirt from Piranha. This is Tech Gear Dry Tech. Um, I don't normally pick up that brand, but this one's a woman's size 2X pair of just shorts. They're a nice, pretty, like, purpley blue color. So, again, um, if you guys didn't watch the first video, I did buy 100 pounds of stuff from the Goodwill Outlet. It was actually 102 pounds, and I paid 150, 150 or 151 I think it was 150 149 somewhere in there, out the door. And then my total price per each piece of clothing was $0.96. Cents. This is another pair of Adidas. I think these are a youth size. Yep. Um, size large, 14, 16. These are a pair of boys' pants. Another pair of jeans. These are Can Can Signature. They are an okay size. They're the curvy mid-rise skinny. They are a size 27. They're a button up, a button fly. They're a little bit distressed. Um, I heard this brand used to do better than what it does now, but I will still pick it up when I find it in good condition. This is just an Old Navy, extra large. But it's animal print, and it's fleece, and it's full zip. It's got all the things going for it. So for 96 cents, I picked it up. All right. These, I'm deciding whether or not I'm going to lock these up or not. I found all these Adidas pants. Two of these here are the same size. So these are extra large 1820 boys pants. There's a pair that are black and white. And then I got another pair that are red and black, both same size. So I'm thinking about lotting those together when I go to list them. And then this, 
is another Old Navy, but it's a slim fitted Old Navy active and it's extra, extra large woman's quarter zip thing. Um, Old Navy actually sells fairly decent for me and OMG. I'm still getting mad at that light. I swear it's going out sooner and sooner. This is a Duluth Trading size medium women's pair of leggings. They are new with tag. Let's see. I don't think it had a retail. Oh yeah, it does said $59. So just a few more items, so I'm not gonna bother with turning them that light back on again. Let's see, this is a pair of board shorts. It is called Jet Pilot. They're a size 30. I did look these up. I don't remember what the comps were, but I know it was in the $20 range. And then last but not least is this, let's see. It's called Ragwear USA. I did not look this up, but it's like a quarter zip. It's a size small, but it has like this New Orleans um, thing on there for the French Quarter. Um, so I figured that would sell probably for at least 15 to 20. So that's everything in those two bags. So I'm going to get this box back or bag back up so I can get out of here and get home to make some dinner. To have some spaghetti tonight. What are you guys having for dinner? I always like curious what people are having for dinner. Because I'd like to have new recipes, new things to make, figure out what other, other people eat, I guess. So, yeah. So that's everything, guys. Um, hope you liked liked it. Give you a good idea of some of the things that I pick up to resell. I wish I could find the more expensive brands. Mm -hmm. But I don't have the time to go out sourcing. Like, I don't have time to spend hours in a thrift store looking through all the racks trying to find the good stuff. I can go to the bins once a month, spend four to six hours, get as much as I possibly can, and that, that gives me my time in the evenings to spend just listing items and packaging up orders. So that's how I do it. Um, never know how to end these things. How do you guys end yours? I never know how to do it. I always feel weird ending a video. But if you like this kind of content and you want to see some more, please give me a thumbs up like this video. I would appreciate it. It's free for you guys and lets me know whether or not you guys like this kind of stuff. Um, comment. Love hearing from um, subscribers. Even if you have something negative to say, leave the comment. I don't care. I got a thick skin. I can take it. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, oh yeah. Coming up later on this month, hopefully, I do have another reseller friend um, that found a great place to buy some new inventory from what it looks like and we're both thinking about buying a box and doing kind of like a battle of the boxes see who got the better box um that's just a little teaser i'm gonna do that hopefully near more near the end of the month so that's coming up so all right and it's been almost 20 minutes i'm gonna let you guys go i got stuff to do and i will talk to you guys later hopefully you guys have some great sales i forget to say that sometimes Hopefully you guys have some great sales. Hopefully uh, Q4 is rocking for you guys. And I will talk to you guys there.